Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LS video for our tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install realistic usable charges and citations for Computer Lite. If you guys do not have Computer Lite, you guys need to get that inside the game. I will teach you how to do it here in a second. Um, but we are going to go ahead and put this in. Big shout out to Devin Dude for sending me the link to this and telling me to put it inside my game because I love it. It makes the game so much more realistic and it, it has so many charges and citations. You can also get people warnings, all that good stuff. We'll walk through it here in a second, but let's go ahead and get started. So for those of you that do not have computer light in, we need to get computer light inside your game. So you guys need to go to your GTA 5 main directory. So what we're going to do is go to our GTA 5 main directory right here just like this and what you guys want to do is go to your web browser i'll leave the link down in the description we're going to go our web browser we're going to go to but jojo plugins so we're going to go in here and you're going to see computer light we're going to click on computer light you might get a pop-up like that no worry exit out of it and click back into computer light and we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom so now at the bottom we're going to go down here and we're going to click download on this so we're going to click download right there that little arrow that's pointing down we're going to go ahead and open this file up we're going to go inside this folder and computer light and you guys are going to see plugins folder so that's the one that you want what you guys are going to do is open up your gta 5 main directory take this plugins folder right here drag and drop into your gta 5 main directory over here to the side okay so over here to the side just like that i'm going to replace mine just like so and we're going to go inside my plugins folder go inside lspdfr folder and we're going to go right down here where it says computer light and what i recommend you guys doing is go right here where you see the little gear icon right click on it hit edit Go over here, and you guys could change it to whatever you want, okay? So, you guys are going to get this to pop up right here. And this is going to pop up. Let me go ahead and get it over here where it can... There we go. So, we're going to enlarge it. And you guys are going to get this to pop up right here. You can edit with your notepad. And uh, it says the open computer key is going to be E. I don't use E. I use the letter L. So, I'm going to delete E right there, and I'm going to put capital L. So, you see right here, it says open computer key, and I'm going to put capital L. And we're going to hit file and then click save, just like so. And that's going to be how you open computer light inside your game. I'm going to go ahead and click X after I saved it. And we'll go back in here and you guys can see now it is the letter L, just like so. So you see that is letter L. I'm going to go ahead and drop that down. And what we're going to do is we're going to go inside here and you're going to see computer light folder right there. So we're going to click on that and we're going to stay right here. Okay, so what you guys want to do is we're going to go ahead and now download, we're going to go ahead and download realistic usable charges and citations right here. Okay, so we're going to be downloading this from Chad C78, big shout out to him. And what we're going to do is we're going to click download this file right here. So go ahead and click download on it. We're going to go ahead and let that download and we're going to go ahead and open it up. And here it goes right here. We're going to go ahead and open that up and we're going to take these two files right here, these two .xml files. And we're going to go into our GTA 5 main directory. And again, we'll go Grand Theft Auto 5. We'll go Plugins. We'll go to LSPDFR folder. And we'll go to Computer Light folder. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these two files right here. Drag and drop into our Computer Light folder. Just like so. Perfect. We're going to click Replace. Just like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump inside GTA 5. And I'm going to show you guys how this works and what the new charges look like. So let me go ahead and hop into GTA 5. Okay, guys. So now that we are inside GTA 5, what we are going to do is we're going to head over here to our cruiser. And we're going to go in and hop inside of our cruiser. And what you want to do is you're going to hold down the letter L. If you change your letter to the letter L like I did, what you guys are going to do is hold down the letter L. Just like so. And you'll see right here, we have computer like computer system, and you have PED records, vehicle records, and court cases. We'll go to court cases, and you can see my last court case that I just did a patrol earlier today. Um, this is one of our suspects that was charged for evading. He was also charged for leaving the scene of an accident, which caused bodily injury, attempted to flee and elude on foot in possession of stolen property. He ended up getting five years in prison and $2,600 in fines. So you will have court cases now. Vehicle records. So say you pull a vehicle over, you could search their vehicle plate up right through here. And also you have head records right here. Um, so we can go ahead and show you real fast. Let me go over here and what we'll do is we'll head over here and pull a vehicle over and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about okay so we're going to find a vehicle and we can just do it with a stop head but what we're going to do is we're going to stop this semi right here so we'll go ahead and stop him and we'll initiate a stop on this vehicle and we'll get this vehicle to pull over to the right so once this vehicle pulls over to the right for us we're going to run the plate and everything and then we're also going to do a um 
we'll search up the pet and see what they are wanted for or if they have any warrants or if they have a valid license or anything like that whatever this guy is doing Okay, whatever. He's going to stop right here. What we're going to do, since we have him pulled over, we have this plate in our system now. I'm going to hold down L. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go vehicle records. Right here, you'll see that hauler is now in there. Okay, we click on that. It's uh, The owner is Drew Black. It is valid. Insurance is valid. We could go view owner record. And right here, you'll see that the owner is right here, Drew Black. It'll let you know if he has any warrants. You can see it right here. It'll say outstanding warrant, and it'll be in red. Uh, he does not have any warrants. He's not on probation or parole. He has zero uh, arrest and three prior citations. So we could go in here, and you guys could see the newest citations that you guys got. You guys can write warnings now, parking, documents, equipment, non-moving, accident, all kinds of stuff. You can get them for all kinds of stuff now. That's what's awesome about these uh realistic citations and charges they are just it's amazing i love it and um there you guys go you guys got that inside your game you guys are good to go you guys have fun enjoy it definitely smash that like button if you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you all on the next one stay blessed stay safe out there and we'll see you guys soon peace